Hello everyone, my name is Puneet. I'm part of Informatica Data Engineering Integration Team. Today I'll be talking about the ADRS Gen 2, which is the new features I started supporting from DI 104. And uh, in this session, we'll get to know how to do the connection for the ADLS Gen 2 and how to run a mapping on Databricks. The agendas of today's presentations are like introduction to ADLS Gen 2 and the overview of Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, the supported file formats and how to do the ADLS Gen 2 configuration from the Informatic Admin Console and the prerequisites and the demo. Let's try to understand what is ADLS Gen 2. The ADLS Gen 2 is a set of capabilities dedicated to big data analytics built on the Azure Blob Storage. Uh, ADLS Gen 2 is a result of converging the capabilities of two existing storage services that are Azure Blob Storage and the ADLS Gen 1. So you can use the power exchange for Microsoft ADLS Gen 2 to connect the Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 from the Informatica. Use the Microsoft the use the power exchange for Microsoft Azure Data Lake Gen 2 to read the data and write the data to the ADLS Gen 2. You can also collect and organize the details from multiple input sources and use the power exchange for ADLS Gen 2 to write the data to the ADLS Gen 2. You can also use the ADLS Gen 2 object as a source and target in a mapping also in the dynamic mappings. When you use the ADLS Gen 2 objects in a mapping, you must configure the properties specific to the Azure Gen 2. You can also validate and run the mapping in a native and non-native environments. If you are using if you are using a SSL or a secure transfer enabled storage, it is also possible to read and write from the ADLS Gen 2 using Informatic or Info. So these are the file format supported from the Informatica and uh, you can just refer it out. Now let's uh, mainly talk about the prerequisites before uh, you start configuring the ADLS Gen 2. Make sure that you have uh, installed and configured the Informatica services and install the developer tool and you have created a data integration services and the model repository services which, in, which are up and running and verify the cluster configuration is created on the domain and verify the metadata access MAS is created on the domain also verify the user used to configure the Informatica domain is added in the cluster and the user has a pseudo privileges when you use the non corporate Hadoop Cloudera CDH61 distribution make sure uh, to verify that the Databricks connection is created in the domain if you want to use or read the null values or f to write the null values you have to set these two properties under the Databricks advanced properties one is in first part dot flat file dot reader uh, dot null values is equal to true one is writer dot null values is equal to true so to set the following Hadoop credential configuration options under the spark config in the Hadoop Databricks cluster to access the Microsoft ADLS Gen 2. So these are the five properties which has to be configured in the Databricks SPAR configurations before you do the connection between the Informatica and the Databricks cluster. So here the first two will be on the authentication and the third one will be of the client ID, the fourth one is on secret ID and the last one uh, which is direct ID of uh, Azure ID will be on the tenant ID. This is a screenshot looks like uh, when you used to create a ADLS Gen2 connection from the admin console. We'll see now in details how to do the connection and how to run the mapping using Databricks cluster. So this is what my Informatica 104 uh, admin console looks like. Here you have to click on the connection and in the connection you have to click on new new connections and if you scroll down you have an option to see the file system under the file systems you have a Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 click on that give next so here it asks you to enter uh, the connection name well, let's uh, try to uh, give some name and uh, to create a connection you should have the account name and the client ID and the secret ID and the tenant ID and these things you can get it from your uh, Azure admin so once you have these details ready you can just do the connection test 
so now my the connection test got successful so as i informed earlier uh, you also have to configure those five properties which was mentioned before in the database cluster spark config so for that you have to click on the workspace in that workspace you have to go to your database cluster clicking on the cluster and the databricks followed by you have an advanced op options if you click on that you have uh, spark if you click on the spark under that you can set your spark config properties as i mentioned in my previous slide these are the five properties which has to be configured whereas the, you have to mention the token id uh, uh, and you have to mention the secret id followed by you have to give the tenant id uh, in this directory id of azure ad path so once you have added uh, those once you have added those properties under uh, the so once you added under uh, those properties under the database clusters you just have to restart the data database clusters so once the database cluster has been restarted now you can set uh, we can ready to do the connections and run the mapping against the database clusters so I have a simple uh, mapping uh, ready which has a source as a delta tables and the target as a ADLS gen2 uh, you can just check it by clicking on the runtime so I have uh, selected uh, the connection as ADLS Gen2. So now quickly run the mapping, and my mapping is running on the engine Databricks. So uh, if you want to know how to create a connections, uh, uh, the database connections and all, you can refer to my previous uh, videos. So now since my uh, setup is ready, I'm just running a mapping against the database clusters. So now my the mapping has run successfully. Now let's see the file ADL uh, airline underscore ADLS has been uh, has created under the ADLS storage account. So this is my ADLS uh, account where I have a airline airline underscore ADLS. Uh, let's see the files has created or not. Yeah, so we have a file which got created. Now this is how you can you know uh, do the connection of the ADLS Gen2 and run a mapping on the Databricks clusters. Uh, it is also possible to run a uh, to connect to ADLS Gen2 and run a mapping on the native engine and the Spark engine. So if uh, for the reference you can just uh, click on to this uh, document uh, and we would like to hear from you. Please write us to support videos at informatica.com and follow us on the twitter.com/infosupport. Thank you.